What is up YouTube, NES Addict here, and today I just wanted to show you that I finally got my hands on an NES Classic. All that and more, next. So guys, I'll tell you a little backstory about the NES Classic. When it first came out, I didn't want to rush to the store and get it because I did not realize they weren't going to mass produce these things for months and months and months and months and years on end. I just thought it was going to be a thing from now on. So. When I found out it was going to be discontinued, I actually was traveling with my wife and family from Ohio back to Greenville the day that Best Buy was supposed to get their last shipment. So my buddy Philip went and got his, and I was left out in the cold and wasn't able to get one. Philip was going to get me one, but they limited one per customer, which is fair. So with that being said, I'd kind of given up on the idea of getting an NES Classic, and I was frustrated and I was angry. And even though I had most of the games and I didn't really need it, I just wanted one. I don't know why, maybe because I, who knows, followed the sheep of Nintendo and wanted one myself. But it just seemed like a cool thing to have and I wanted it. So I was on an app called OfferUp and a lady had one posted for $150, which I still didn't think was a great deal. So I asked her what's the lowest she would do. She said 100 and I thought, it's 40 bucks above retail, but at this point, that's probably a pretty decent price. So I was willing to pay it. So I drove over and picked it up, and now I have it. So let's open this thing up. I'm sure all of you have probably either seen someone else unbox one of these or gotten one yourself, but I haven't had the luxury of doing that myself yet, so I thought, why not? So let's open this bad boy up. All right, so just a little cardboard box. What's interesting about this box is I actually found one of the boxes in GameStop's dumpster, but it is much thinner. So I don't know if this was a display, but if you can see here, this is like white paper and this is like cardboard. So I don't know if they came in two different boxes or if this was a display for GameStop or what the deal with that is, but it's very interesting to say the least. So first off we have this cool little, uh, my Nintendo points, and looks like some instructions. And a very, I'm gonna have to frame this, this is awesome. Brian Culpepper, you should put some artwork up in your house with this. This cool little, I don't know how much you can see of that, retro looking, looks like something that would have came with your regular NES. It has Rob and Duck Hunt and what do you know, the Nintendo's facing the correct, the correct way. It looks like a, uh, a like a, an unused version of Gyromite and Duck Hunt cartridge, uh, cartridge artwork there. All right, so let's open up the NES here. I haven't played this thing yet. I actually did take it out and look at it for a minute because I was so excited. Um, I knew it was small, but man, that is, that really is little. But super cool. Kind of wish that flipped up just for fun, even though I'm sure there's nothing in there worth looking at. Um, I'm kind of excited that uh, the HDMI, or uh, I don't know what you call this port, but the uh, uh, controller port will work with my Wii U and maybe even Wii, I think. So here is the NES controller. I actually have yet to get my hands on it. I mean, it feels a little different, but pretty similar to a regular NES controller. I think the weight just doesn't feel quite right. I don't know though, who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe because the cord isn't as long. But yeah, that feels very comfortable because I love playing NES, so. And it looks like all this in the bottom here is just the, the HDMI cable and and the, uh, the power cord. So that's it guys. Uh, I know I'm super late to the game to do an unboxing of these, of this, but I'm super excited to have it in the collection. And uh, I now have an NES Mini. So uh, I, I guess I paid a scalper's price for it since it wasn't retail, but uh, like I said, I was willing to pay it. Um, one interesting note was the guy who gave me this was a Walmart employee who un, uh, 
unpacked the, the trailers that came in and he actually bought this May 1st, I noticed. So they are still slowly seeping in, it seems. Um, they, that may have been the absolute last run, but you may get lucky if uh, Walmart employees and GameStop employees don't suck in the few left trickling in. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time, take care.